When you think of the desert, do you imagine a place like this? Dry, sandy, hot? Well, not all deserts are scorching hot. Some deserts are freezing cold. Kick off your shoes, it's time for Silly Smart News. Hello and welcome back to Silly Smart News. My name is Jocelyn and today's guest, Benjamin the Penguin, traveled all the way from Antarctica, which is the coldest continent on Earth. After a lively and intense discussion with Benjamin, he told us that he was ready for people to know that not all deserts are scorching hot. Did you know that Antarctica is considered a desert too? Antarctica is a continent that's located at the bottom of the world. They call it the polar desert because it gets very little rain or snow, and it has freezing temperatures all year long. It looks a lot different than other deserts you might think about. And in some parts of Antarctica, there is so much ice, that's all you can see for miles and miles and miles. One of the reasons we know so much about Antarctica is because people go there every year, like scientists, engineers, cooks, artists, Penguins? Let's take a look at what you would have to wear if you were going to Antarctica. You've been chosen to go to Antarctica! Looks like you're a little bit cold though. May I suggest a puffy red jacket? Ah, much better. You might find yourself walking on a lot of ice, so you want a pair of thick, heavy boots. Pair them with some wool socks and your feet won't even notice the cold. And we can't forget our hands, of course. Mittens or gloves will do the trick. Finish off with your furry hood and now you look like the coolest Antarctica explorer. Even though it's freezing down there, there are lots of animals that call Antarctica home. There are penguins, like the emperor penguin, and a deli penguin, and lots of others that are waddling around. There are different species of whales, like the blue whale, the killer whale, the humpback whale that are splashing around in those icy waters. And there's also, um, there's also, Whatever that is. Uh, let's see what our Antarctica cam picked up. Hmm, that sounds familiar. Can you guess what animal that is? It has a thick layer of blubber and fur that helps it stay warm. This animal can be found on the shore, but spends most of its life in the water. Do you know what it is? Let's focus our footage a bit here. <gasps> it's a seal! <laughs> All of these pictures and videos that I've been sharing with you are what Antarctica looks like in the summertime. So in the summer months, the sun is out 24 hours a day. This picture was taken at 10 o'clock in the morning. Kind of what you would expect, right? But look, this picture was taken at 11 o'clock at night and it's still just as bright. Now in the winter months, there is 100% darkness in Antarctica. Um, hello? Hello? <laughs> I meant 100% darkness in Antarctica, not in the studio. Can we get the lights back, please? <clears throat> in the winter time, Antarctica is dark 24 hours a day, which means that it gets even colder and only a small group of people stay there for the whole winter. They get to see these beautiful light shows in the sky called Aurora Australis or the Southern Lights. Thank you, Benjamin, for helping us set the record straight today that not all deserts are scorching hot. Some of them, like Antarctica, are freezing cold. From Silly Smart News, my name is Jocelyn. Join us next time when we ask, are all oranges always orange? See you next time. Do you have Silly Smart News to share with Jocelyn? Ask a grown-up to help you get in touch with our office.